how do you set the throttle position sensor if you do not have a gauge? So what we have here is a uh, volt meter. This is hooked up to the ECM back here. We've got the black negative lead connected to the black ground wire, which is the main sensor ground on the ECM, and the red wire connected to the pink white wire on the ECM. Be careful if you have a 2007 or later bike because there are two pink wires, one on the small connector and one on the large. The one you want for the throttle position sensor is the pink white on the large connector here. So what we're going to do is, we, in order to uh, set the throttle position sensor down here, if you do not have a gauge, if we measure with the meter where the threshold is, on the enunciators in the gauge for the bottom and the top threshold, we can use that instead of the gauge and just hook up the bulb meter and be able to set the throttle position sensor that way. So yesterday I took some measurements and uh, let's see if we can repeat them today. It's a little bit tricky so uh, maybe we get lucky and be able to demonstrate on video how to find the lower limit. But what I'm doing now is pushing down on the sensor to drop the voltage until the enunciator drops to the bottom. So the enunciator is now at the bottom. The voltage you measured before was a 1.088. So let's see if we can repeat that. 1.06772, it's still low. 7982, it's still low. 084, 086, 087. There it is, 08, 08, 9, and you can see the enunciator in the gauge has gone up to the middle. You need to uh, give it about a half a second delay from when you move it to where the enunciator responds. That's one of the nice things about voltage mode is it just, there is no delay and it makes it a little bit easier to set the reading. So the, again, the enunciator on this 2007 goes from low to middle. 1.088. There it is. Now let's check the upper limit, which yesterday was 1.179. Whoop, too far. 1. 1.13, 1.4, 1.5. 6.7, one too far. Okay, one, so we're close. 173, enunciator is still in the middle. 78, 79, it's gone high. 73, it's low. 76, 76, 77, so 77, it goes high. So based on those two numbers now, if you do not have the gauge, you just have to get the voltage on the throttle position sensor between 1.088 and 1.179 and if you average that out it works out to be about 1.13. So let's go ahead and set it to 1.13. Push down to make the voltage go down. Pop back up a little bit. It can be a little bit tricky setting the sensor. Sometimes when you go to crank the screw down, you can you know, make the reading change, but you just got to play with it a little bit. So here we are about dead center of the range is 1.13. Now the important thing to, to note when you're setting it in voltage mode, to make sure that the negative clip of the battery of the uh, voltmeter is connected to the black ground sensor signal ground on the ECM and not the battery terminal. Watch what happens if we unclip from here and clip to the battery terminal. The voltage goes up to 1.18. That's about 50 millivolts coming to the best connection. 
between 180, so 50 millivolts higher than if we flip it back to the main sensor ground. Back to about our 1.13 or so. The reason for that is there's enough current running through the negative battery cable to generate a, about a 50 millivolt drop. So again, the important thing is you gotta have, you can't use the battery terminal, you must use the sensor ground with the ECM. So doing that, bike warmed up, 1300 RPM, set the voltage to 1.13, and you're good to go.